yesterday Red Dot was officially released and today we are going to be checking all the information about this new piece of software or well maybe not new but you understand completely what I mean this was all announced through their discord server okay so I really recommend you join here and you can basically do it by going to the twitter account and here discord so of course this version has a rebranding okay it has changed the color theme to some kind of orange or red similar to the uh, red dot logo and also it has introduced a new horizon color option that it is basically this thing that will allows you to change the actual uh, horizon of the sky so um you can go to the main repository okay just uh, over here, as you can see, they, they have already started putting some uh, newer information on the README. And basically, well, they explain a little bit what the project is about, a little bit of the history of what happened. Um, so basically, their aim is to um, lead Godot in a more genuinely community-driven model than the one that Godot is currently having, according to them. They are also currently building a website. And well, we can also go to the releases page that, by the way, um, in the original uh, exposed that, let me go here uh, again, um, over here, release page. So over here, in this case, I will look for Windows of X64 zip. So I will download this one. And by the way, it seems that they have here the Android editor. I don't really know if this is like the APK or if this is something else, so I'm also going to be checking it out. Uh, they also have the mono version, uh, the source code, um, and also they have the templates, the export templates. And here is stated that they are not automatically downloaded and linked into your project settings. So you have to download actually here the templates from here uh, below, for example here web template, um, Windows template, etc., Linux template, etc. And then you have to manually link those into your export settings. So first of all, I want to check this option of the Android editor, so I will quickly extract this and we'll see what we have here. So yes, indeed, we do have the uh, APK for Android. It, this will be quite interesting to test it out in the mobile phone. We're going to be doing that in a second. And well, then, of course, we have the version for Windows, so I will extract it over here and let's see what we got. So uh, we have some uh, library uh, files, uh, some temporary files, the console and the actual executable okay so i'm going to open the executable right away quite fast as it is a uh, go dot and well we see here the, the new um the new interface with this uh, kind of red that well it actually looks quite interesting uh, a new log over here red dot engine and actually here we have a uh, more information um about the people who had contributed to the project uh also some credits to the the actual creators of the of go dot um and even what is this super oh, and all the developers that have been throughout the creation of godot um the the patreons sponsors etc uh license uh that is the same one as godot of course uh, third party licenses etc um so okay everything else seems quite similar uh of course we shouldn't be expecting lots of changes since redot has has been developed for something like uh, just a couple of weeks um here in the quick settings everything seems in the exact same way um we also have network mode here that if we make online we should be able to um automatically see here if there is a new update of red dot so if i were you i would definitely uh, make network mode be online so uh, right here i would like to create a, a brand new a, a brand new game that i'm going to choose other um other uh, directory and i personally really like this this uh this red uh, theme it is not a uh, uh, like a uh, difficult to see or that maybe will hurt your eyes uh, just the opposite so we'll create here red alt test over here select current folder um and i'm just going to press there uh, create and edit so here we have this uh, logo once again oh well super quickly we got inside of it um so here we have i think that this this background color is also a little bit darker to match uh, yes everything is a little bit darker than godot let's actually uh, open here godot uh, at the same time uh, i am in the latest uh, stable version of it so i will quickly create here uh in the downloads 
a brand new project so so that you can see the differences okay between the 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 two themes and whatever so as you can see the speed is quite similar okay between the two of course because there aren't many new things in in red dots but well the main thing here of the difference is the interface as you can see the background of the viewport here is much lighter here all the panels are uh, much darker and also the, the main theme here is red and also here it seems that we have an error here uh just from the the start um but well this thing of the theme is is just something personal that you may like more or less uh, i also think that red dot here yes it is a little little small here it's small here the editor settings I, I like to have this at something like 125 and because if not I, I believe that the ui is a little bit too small at least for my monitor so yes right now it does look much better however i don't know if this is something that you can see in the recording but the fonts here in red dot they they look like a little bit blurry or i don't know if it is just my sight or whatever yes but they do look a little bit blurry yes um so that's something that maybe could be fixed but well it is something understandable uh and also this thing of of uh, that i previously got an error here i don't know why uh, but anyway of course everything else is much similar is is exactly the same as godot until now um we also have here the horizon color okay so for example here we are able to change this to i know a pink color okay and there the horizon has changed and i would also like to change the sky color so that we can actually see this difference okay and this is something that in godot uh doesn't exist we, we can only modify the sky and ground and here in red dot not only do we have the sky and ground but also the horizon okay um, but I think that the, the other options are the exact same ones. Um, so, well, this is at least something new that we can see besides uh, the, the new theme. Um, so now what I want to do is to just do some uh, game development here super quick and easy so that we can see the different interfaces and the overall workflow. So, for example, I will create here a brand new folder, which I will call scenes. Okay. Then scripts um and yes this sounds good okay this is the interface for creating a brand new node quite interesting uh, i'm just going to create a brand new node for example i will rename it to something like main and i'm going to save it in the scenes then i will attach a new script and uh, i will save it inside of the scripts folder okay sounds good uh the editor here is super small i don't know why so i will zoom in a little bit and I will call this super simple ready function. Uh, I don't, I didn't have this turn on in Godot, I think. Like, I, I don't remember the exact name of this that put in automatically the return types. But anyway, uh, I will once again go here to the node and I will quickly create it to check if this is something that was set up on my Godot or if this is, no, this is something that Red Dot has on by default, okay? The, the hints, I think, are called. Um, so, well, interesting. And I will just print out a message. That will say something, uh, hello, red dot. Okay. And I'm going to play this scene. And as usual, the first the first ever time that you play the pro the game, it does take some time. And there we got it. Hello, red dot. Okay. So yes, and everything seems, seems to be working just fine. Of course, there shouldn't be many errors as the only thing new or, well, one of the few things new is this horizon color. Uh, um, but, well... Uh, we have a brand new um, theme. It is already rebranded to have the red dot icon. I don't know if you were able to see that here. We we get there the, the red dot icon instead of gold of the gold dot uh, icon. Uh, and I also would like to check if you can actually uh, probably yes you you should be able to adjust the theme yes etc exactly so uh, because I still think that it is a little bit too bright. Uh, so maybe we could darken it a little bit. Uh, so let me actually see, because this is not taking uh, any kind of effect. Okay, yes, there. Uh, but well, yes, you can still change the theme if you really wanted. Um, and you can even here in the presets select, uh, select Godot and you will have the exact same interface. So if I open up here Godot, it is literally impossible to know which one is Red Dot and which one is Godot. Um... But well, the, the default one is uh, the one of Red Dot here in this case. Um, 
So yeah, this is all that we have for Red Dot. I really recommend that you join the Discord server because they are always here updating what is happening. Currently, they are focusing on creating some more things in the Discord. They want to actually here add some emojis to the channels and more channels and bots in the server and more stuff. Uh, and the server has something like 10,000 people, I think, or something like that. Um, 8,000 people, okay, over here. So yes, it is quite interestingly, it is quite, it is quite interesting the, the huge number of people that are here uh, supporting this project, okay? So uh, what do you think of Reddit? Have you tried it out? Do you like it? Do you think it, it will survive in the long term? Or what it is going to actually be happening to this project? Um, whenever there is a new update on Reddit, on Goat, on the Goat drama and any other thing related to that, I'm going to be posting it here and uh, as soon as possible, okay? Um, so if you want to be the first one on knowing the latest news, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one and bye bye.